Hello, uh, Nexus Core, and happy, happy Valentine's Day. Day. I mean, YouTube. <laughs> um, this is Nexus Core. So you know that we made a Q and A while back. We're making a Q and A, and that's this Q and A. So we're gonna answer the questions that you asked about us. I mean, we should say who's here, shouldn't we? Oh yeah. So it's me, being Miles, <laughs> Gabe, Richard, and Atlas. Hi. Forget the five most prominent members of Nexus Core. You, you know, you only Jose. said you said you only said four. Yeah. I thought I said Jose. Jose's here too. Dumbass. I am. Yeah, I don't know. Are you? Okay, let's just get to the questions. Miles, Gabe, are you? Master oh, I'm starting okay. Um. Dude, mute. What gra- okay, Gamer Tony asks, what grade are you guys in? Does anyone want to start this off? I'm going to go last. <laughs> All right. uh, I am a technically a freshman in uh, college right now. I go to community college, so there aren't really, like, freshmen through senior levels. It's more just, like, how many years you've been there. So I'm the equivalent of a freshman. I actually start... At the time of this recording, I start school tomorrow. Oh. Who's going next? I'll go. So, before I go, let's just make the de facto order Miles, Gabe, Richard, Jose, Atlas. Fine with Sounds me. good. Cool. So, um, <coughs> I'm a sophomore in college, so I'm a, I'm a year two. I'm almost done with my spring... I'm halfway through my spring semester, so almost... Yeah, Fine. that's it. Okay. I'm a, a junior undergrad at UCR. So I'm thought, basically, I'm in my third year of college at Riverside, is the answer to that question. I, I like how this is going perfectly in order where we have a freshman, a sophomore, and a junior. Oh, shit, you're right. Uh, I'm, suppo- I'm supposed to be in my third year of college, but I'm a dumbass who dropped out of high school, and I'm trying to get my GED now. Yay, everyone Yay. applaud Jose for actually taking effort in education. Thanks. Uh, and I'm apparently an old fuck because I graduated college last uh, last spring, and I'm trying to be an adult, and I'm sucking at it. So I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, Just I'm, quit Vanguard. I mean, as of next week, I'll be in 24th grade. Is that how that works, where your age is your grade? <laughs> Oh, okay. Fourth grade. Okay. 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 Um, next question. I'm Blizz XRD asks Vanguard Buddy Fight or Hearthstone. So Miles, we'll keep the order going for uniformity. Back or gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, Fair. Um if I'm being completely honest here, Beyblade. <laughs> okay. Good take. Huh? All right, um, I'll answer the question seriously, I guess. Um, Vanguard sucks. Buddy Fight's a better game, and Hearthstone is free. There you go. <laughs> Isn't it like pay to win, though? Hearthstone? Hearthstone? Not actually. In a, on a competitive level, isn't it? No, no, that's what I thought, too. I mean, okay, like for the competitive Hearthstone, you really don't really... If you just want to play for fun, there's, just, there's ranks 20 through 1, 1 being the highest rank. If you can get around, like, rank 15, like, you're good. Like, you don't really, like, unless you really, really, really want to be a super tryhard, you don't need to. I'm having fun with it, honestly. And Vanessa, who's never played card games in her life, recently got into it, and she loves the game. Vanessa is his girlfriend, for those who don't know. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Forgot to mention that. And then, so, like, with Hearthstone, I thought it was, like, oh, I have to play if I want to, like, I have to pay money if I want to get, like, down to, like, rank 15 or 10. And all you really just have to do is kind of know what cards you're looking for. Because you have the game gives you the option to not really purchase, but you have in-game con- like credit to get game to get cards. If you just know what cards you want to get first, like you can make really easy budget-ish decks, and they work just fine. So it's a, it, it's just a game that you have to put more time into. And if you're just not the time person for, for card games, and you're just more like a buy my card now get this over with, Hearthstone's not really for you. Chris, what about you? I'm a really big fan of Bay Wheels. <laughs> what are Bay Wheels? So, say you're off the team. As, as this like if you turn the Beyblade sideways and no, make a go-kart like out of it? No, this is an actual product. Oh my god, okay. All right. It had, like, it had an anime that went on for like nine episodes or something. 
They, okay. they, they put an actual rubber thing on the sides of the thing. Do you remember, like, these things called wheelies where you would, like, rip it out and then there would be this, like, plastic tire thing that would, like, go really far? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, I forgot about those. Kind of, yeah. I know what you're oh Okay, God. Beyblade just basically put their logo on that product and called it Bay Wheels. Is it, like, the sort of thing where it was Dungeon Dice Monsters and Yu-Gi-Oh! where they're supposed to be different but they're not really that different? Essentially. Yeah, it's, it's right. just, yeah similar concept. Uh, awesome. Right, Next question. You. Oh, uh, um, well, Vanguard, because uh, I, after Yu-Gi-Oh, I I uh, made a strict policy with myself that I, I only want to play one TCG at a time. Um, I don't really like the idea of buddy fight or like fight an alarm with your buddy and like, dude, I'm trying to I'm trying to escape here. I'm not trying to like be there. <laughs> Um, and then Hearthstone, I just I, I like the feeling of holding cards. So, yeah, all right. that's all. Next question. <laughs> all right, Otis Kingsman asks, "Hi Miles, hi Otis. This is for all Nexus Core members. He apologizes or something. Um, uh, how would you recommend getting new players into competitive Vanguard with the issue of price and rarity being worse in Vanguard than any other game?" Um, disagree with the rarity thing, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, no, I feel like there are more expensive card games. Um, I just want to say one thing real quick. This feels like it's a, a, one of those topics you could go on for hours discussing. I think we should just have one person answer this really quickly. I'm trying to make it work. competitive. Well, yeah, no, no. It's it's like it's like you if you want to get like competitive, you do have to make like you know a tier one deck. You need to have like, a consistent deck, and that can be expensive. Honestly, it's like to get a new player into it, you just have to like they need they need to have the passion and like the dedication. Like I've gotten friends into it, and I'm like, hey, before you do this, if you really want to get into it, you're going to be spending money. Are you okay with that? And then they say like, yeah, I am. I'm like, all right, we're good then. Fine, no problem. Yeah, I mean, like the uh, I think to um, if at, at now you know February 2018, the the best way to get into some kind of competitive Vanguard without spending more than like a hundred bucks would be either Machinings or Blue Wave. And yeah, yeah, that's true. They're they're not gonna um, like be taken on the meta and like destroy no floor and right. But like you'll do pretty good. You're still gonna have some like consistent win rate, right? Yeah, exactly. Like Machinings, your most expensive card is Destroyer, and that's fifteen dollars. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then, Blue Wave uh, is yeah, I mean, well, Blue, Blue Wave, uh, yeah, Alexandros is going to be more expensive, but you only need two, so exactly, it's a lot easier. The TLDR is in terms of um, trading card games where you actually have to spend money to get the good stuff versus a fighting game where you have to train. Is price and competitivity are mutually exclusive. You can't be a play on a budget and play actually competitively. It's just not possible. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And going back to the question you about can, you getting someone... You can play someone... on a budget and be good, but you're not going to, like... Yeah. Your, your odds of beating those Tier 1 decks are going to be very low. I mean, probably... Going... Sorry, go ahead. Going back, to the... going back to the question of getting someone into the game, um, I feel like you can easily get someone into the game and they can at least understand basic rule comprehension. Easiest thing that I would say to do is at least have, like two trial decks on hand, like maybe store-bought, like right out of the box if you want, really want to be that kind of person, just so I can at least get a fundamental understanding of how to play the game and then leave the rest up to them, honestly. Yeah. It's, if you want to get someone into the game, have something on hand where the cards are easy to understand. Like, just get some vanilla deck. Like, go with that. Just yeah, you know, Usually uh, the way I teach people is uh, in... Th like over three games. The first game, there's no G zone, and all the GB1 effects just work as, as normal. Then you uh, introduce the G zone, and then the third game, you don't say anything and just let them play for themselves. Cool. I think we answered this question pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Yep. Moving on. <laughs> Next question. All right, Gabe. Uh, Gabe Feldinger <laughs> asks Does Nexus Core is gay? So... I didn't know that you asked the question, actually. No, you know what I've read that better? so many times that I just looked over your name. Dumbass. No, what, what would be even better 
is if somebody made an account in your name. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Gabe Peldinger. No, I'm Gabe Peldinger. I'm you, but I'm you stronger. stronger. <laughs> so, wow. so do we answer the question? So does uh, you. Do we? No. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, we go. We answer it. Wait, Dad? Have you finally returned? No. No. None of us have dads. None of us can be father figures. No, the, so I, I I did a show at the comedy store, and I invited my dad, and he didn't show up, and he lives half a mile from the comedy store. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, li- he lived the closest out of all of the people from my camp that were coming, and he didn't come. And I told him, like, a month and a half in advance. What? I said, geez. I know, right? So cool. Is that so, a Vanguard reference? Stop. <laughs> Okay, next question. Theory XG TCG asks, will Jose ever improve Dungaree again? Okay, yeah, I have the so stop question. asking. No, no, no. Whoa. Dungaree doesn't need improvement. It is perfect as is. We gotta get like a mascot costume for him. Okay. Really? Next question. It's been answered. It's okay. fine. Uh, Azrael Strife asks, what Azrael. do you think? Azrael Strife asks, is that a Blaze Blue reference? What do you think about the G era Vanguard ending? Did you enjoy it? Are you looking forward to the next season coming? What do you think the new mechanic will be? Okay. Listen, listen uh, to episode 77 of ne- or, uh, Nexus at Night G era. Sorry, we're done. Let's plug. Um, oh, sh- shameless plug. Fuck you. I don't care. Ian, I've always liked the conclusion of like a new of the of the, like the most recent era. Not not because it's like oh it's finally over thank God, but it's like. I get excited to, of what's to come next. You know, it's like, what's Bashir going to do this time? Um, uh, I did enjoy g actually. It, it, it took me a while. I was very, very like, ticked off, mainly because, um, like, a lot of the people in our community started to quit the game around the beginning of g Well, yeah, because people like, freaked out about having an extra deck now. Yeah, so, well, it was like it was a combination. Like Legion had already made some people in our community like very unsettled with the game. Like me, I left. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Gabe and I got you back into it. Um, Yay. I, something that we still regret to this day. Um, and um, yeah, so it's like it's like Legion had a lot of people unsettled, and then G came around, and then they were like, "All right, I'm out." And a lot of people were complaining about, like, you know, the increased luck factor and triple drives and, like... And the, whoever was second won, basically. You go... There is absolutely no benefit to going first anymore. There's no benefit whatsoever. Um, so Unless just, you're the leader. Uh, yeah. A lot of people, like, just quit the game, and that made me really upset because uh, up until recently, I have been, like, this, like, just like, devote follower of Vanguard. Like, all throughout high school, it was, like, all I talked about, it was, like, my life, and then seeing people quit the game because of, like, the game, that, like, really upset me. So, I kind of trash-talked G for a while, and then, I think around, I want to say, um, about after, like, the first year of G, I kind of just said, fuck it, and, like, embraced it, and then I started having fun again. So... It was just kind of like a wake-up call that I had to have. But it's overall, almost if that was around the time we started Nexus Core. Hey. Uh, yeah. I yeah, we started with the Break Ride Arrow. Um, <laughs> you could call that, yeah, yeah. Uh, are, are you looking forward to the next season coming? Yes, yes definitely. definitely. Well, season? I don't know. I'm not, I don't really watch the anime anymore, so I'm not looking forward to the new season of the anime. Um, but I'm looking forward to the next era or the next mechanic, uh, which... To the last part of the question, I don't know what the next mechanic could be. Like, G, like, uh, G made such a staple concept in Vanguard. It's like adding, it's like when Yu-Gi-Oh had fusions, which wasn't, it wasn't like this revolutionary. If it hasn't been the extra deck, it'll always be there unless Bushir is like right now more extra deck. So like that, striding is always going to be a thing of the game, at least from what we can see now, unless they make some kind of new mechanic that like overrides that. I'll go now. Um, G era Vanguard ending. To contradict what Miles said, I have always been a proponent of the G era. Like I really like money aside, I really like Stride as a mechanic, and especially with Stride bonuses, 
it was really nostalgic because it felt like break the break ride era because you drop a grade three to put a strong unit on top of another one and get power and an extra ability. So I really like the G era. Um, I mean, like, but also like Miles said, while the uh, quote unquote G era is ending, we're still gonna have G units, so it's gonna be fine. Uh, next season, yeah, I'm pretty like excited about what they're gonna do. And new mechanics, I have no clue as long as they... But I don't care as long as it's not going to be fucking grade-restricted. GB and Striding being grade-restricted is fucking stupid. And it's how Seven Runner and Ripples were stupid. So just get rid of that shit. Yeah. So am I going next? Yeah. yeah. Uh... Repeat the full question again so I know how to answer all the parts. What do you think about the G era of Vanguard ending? Did you enjoy, you enjoy it? Are you, are you looking, looking forward to the next season coming? coming? What do you think the new mechanic will be? Okay. Uh, G era was fun. For sure. Um, what I think of it, and I mean, it's just coming to an end. Uh, anime wise, I think the G anime was. Cool. At first. Like it, the G anime was a real roller coaster because you just start out the first twelve episodes going, "This is garbage. There's no fights," and you just like <laughs> yeah. it was. It was just kind of it was kind of worrisome because you're like, "Is this whole anime just going to be about the characters and not about the actual game itself?" But then it fixed itself, and then now we're just back to like, well, now this is just bad storytelling. Like accurate. Like with with G with G especially with Next and G Z just like with okay. With that aside, so next for the am I excited for the next series as far as anime? Anime, not really, just because of how poor the last two seasons have been. Um, and then new mechanic, I don't really fucking care. Just Bushra would give me my fucking Liberator Stride fodder. That's not garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that's, All right, that's, that's it. So my turn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what do I think about GR ending? Um, I have mixed feelings about that because on the one hand I hated it all until like March of last year when I actually had a deck that worked. <laughs> when you had a G era deck, yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like I'm excited for it to end, but I'm also kind of sad because that means I won't get any more Vanquisher support that might be good. But yeah. And did I enjoy it? The lat the later half, yeah. And am I looking forward to the next season? Uh, sure. Because hmm. I, I don't want to. I start like fresh with a new one, and yeah. The next mechanic, I I, I don't know. That's it. Um, my turn, I guess. Uh, what what do I think about it ending? I feel like Boucherode uh, missed some stuff. Um. It's like the GR is ending, and there are some decks that are still like they feel unfinished. Uh, Pale Moon and Grand Blue mostly come to mind because they haven't gotten a set of support in a year at this point. Um, Dimension Police feels unfinished. Uh, I think that's about it. Like Link Joker and Nova Grappa, they, they're both okay. Aqua Force feels okay. Uh, the, zoo, the Zoo Clans feel okay. Um, or Murakuma also feels unfinished because their G guards are ass, but. Like, I feel like that, uh, you know, going into the next era and then having to start everybody from scratch is both a good and a bad thing because you get this kind of great equalizer where everybody is kind of starting from the bottom and we don't know who's going to come out on top. So maybe the plans I just mentioned will be good in the next era. But as of right now, it just feels like uh, you missed a few things. Kind of like uh, during Break Right era with Ancient Dragon and still only getting exactly. one set of support. Yeah. Um, let's see. What were the other two questions? Sorry. Um, did you enjoy it? Are you looking forward to the next season coming? And what do you think the new mechanic will be? Okay. Did I enjoy? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I had a great time. All of the, all of the decks I played at some point or another were uh, fun to play, and uh, my beloved Great Nature actually ended Giera on a good note. Um, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, what do I think about the anime ending? Was that the next one? Yeah. Uh, did about the series? Uh, are you looking forward series? to the next season coming? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. New characters. Um, I know in the manga there's a female protagonist. I'd like to see that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, 
And then uh, what do I think the next mechanic's going to be? Uh, I've thought about this on the podcast and with uh, Matt and Rupier. Um I think, uh, e- okay, e- either it's going to be something that goes under stride, meaning that, like, if you, you know, if you don't do anything with your G-Zone, you can do this, or like uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! with the Monarchs, if you have no G-Zone, you get a bonus, maybe. Um, it's either going to be something like that, they're going to uh, tear like the G-Zone down to the ground and start over, because they power crank themselves into a corner, or they're going to go full stupid and be like, alright, now we have exceed summons, you overlay two great <laughs> suits. <laughs> Or it's going to be like uh, like they tested it with Marakuma where he can call strides to rear guard. Something like that is going to happen, knowing my luck. But, yeah. Okay. I'm done. I think we put enough into this one. Next question. For everybody, what are your guys' favorite cards, and what kind of concepts do you want to see of more in the future of Vanguard? So, Miles, you can go. Um. Let's see. So, my favorite cards... Uh, well, my, my number one favorite is Blaster Dark, like, like, vanilla original Blaster Dark. Um, of course. That both, that, well, that both got me into the game, and I also, like, love the aesthetic. He's like, he's like an edgy Mega Man X, and I think that that's really cool. Um, uh, card concepts, do I, like, what, what, what kind of card concepts do I want to see? Um... I'm honestly not sure. It's it's like it's the same issue when like someone asks, you know, oh, what do you think the next like the new clans mechanic will be? Like, what else is there to do? You know, like it feels like all of the gimmicks and all of the skills have like happened already. Um, after talking with Gabe for a little bit, I do like the idea of that uh, clan in um, like the, the the Thai clan that came out. I forgot the name of it. Uh, mass that, like, collection. Mass collection. Yeah, it, like it, it has skills that combo off of what you drive check, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I think I think that that's interesting because it incorporates the luck factor of the game into the skills of the card. So it's this like just like perfect like like just synchronized um, mechanic that like it goes between the game and the uh, deck itself. And I don't know. That's just interesting to me. Um, um, see more of there's not there's nothing in particular that like I want to see more of in fact I, I welcome I welcome new mechanics more than I want Bushroid to improve on current mechanics okay I'll go now um favorite card Arborous Dragon Sephiroth hell yeah like that, I won like seven Throwback. tournaments with that card I won with a really sh- Arbor's Dragon Separate was Neo Nectar in the original BTO8, so it was shit. And I beat um, Dauntless Drive Dragon Dote before in a tournament, so that was great. Love that boy. My homie. Card concepts I want to see. Um, I don't care as long as it's not fucking grade restricted, because that's dumb. That's it. Hey. Richard, start talking. Cool. Uh, favorite card: Bluish Flame Live Reader Percival. Um, next, um, next thing. What was it? It was like, what are what card are like concepts you want to see or see more of? Uh, card concept I want to see more of is just diversity. Um, I'll, oh, card concept I definitely want to see. I want to see Bushiro tone it down on the killing off resist units like they didn't have resist to begin with. Yes, exactly. God damn it, I hate that so much. Like, cool. Like, I get, I get the whole like, let's make Overlord super OP just because Kai aesthetic and, and stuff, and just make it really cool. That's I'm all for that. Just like, it just feels kind of like, dim- it feels kind of like redundant to make resist to yeah. counter Kagero and then just give Kagero the one thing that counters resist. Yeah, it seems like a lot of cards nowadays have resist given to them instead of just having it intrinsically. Like, you know, like, all right, on your turn you get resist. I'm like, how is this useful outside yeah. of an algorithm? You know? Yeah. Um, so I think just in general, like a concept leading in whatever variable areas, just at least make things that are not supposed to be killed less likely to be killed. I guess. Listening to something. Okay. Yeah, what's all the sound in the back? That's actually really obnoxious. I think it's my bad. My bad. I'll turn off the TV. Please. Uh, watch the TV is. while he's doing this, of course. Okay. Um, uh, last part of the question again? 
Um, that was it. What, what, what concepts do you want to see more of? Okay, cool. I answered that. All right, go ahead. Yeah, all right. Go ahead, Isaac. All right. My favorite card, uh, Tempest Bull Dragon. <laughs> just, just because, like, it could nuke the field in Break Ride era, and I love that so much. Mandatory soul charge. Shut up. <laughs> uh, and what kind of card concepts I want to see? I'd like to see uh, negative grades, you know? That's cool. Yeah. Like, like dark see... synchrons. There you go, Miles. You know where I'm going. But yeah, and see more of. I don't know. I'll just skip that one. Cool. Um. All right. So favorite Grand Tiger because he's been useful for so goddamn long. So. Uh, yeah, like, my, gra- my grade threes have changed over time, but Crayon Tiger is forever. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, what's a concept that I would like to see? Maybe, um, I want to see, uh, more, like, recycling for, uh, like, as part of an effect, almost. Like the, the that angel feather grade one, where the purpose of the card is to recycle. Like not everything has to be a dreaming dragon, but maybe something like, all right, uh, if you do this, put th- like four cards to the bottom of the deck, and then something. I I think that would be kind of cool if you get like a little bit of recycle, not like just your whole drop zone back in the deck. Um, and that's when Bushy Road remade Legion. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Stop. Not like so that. Wow. All right, all right. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, it's, it's, it's already too late. No. <laughs> uh, let's see. What game is already going off? I want to see more of. Um, I want to see more restanders. I think that'd be fun. Um, I feel like there, there are a lot of clans that you can do fun things with their mechanic, so as to restand. Like maybe a uh, like a messiah thing. Like at the end of the battle, it attacks you. Lock X number, and then if you lock three, you do a thing. And if you lock five, you restand like dogma. That'd be cool. I just want to point out how we all picked a card from a different era. Uh, the original era, Miles got Blaster Dark, Limit Break, I got Sephiroth, uh, Break Ride Hose got Tempest Bolt, Legion Richard got uh, Bluish Flame, and G R- Atlas got Cry and Tiger. It's wow, it's like an anime. It was, it, was all, it was almost in order. XD. Oh, yes. Yeah. Anyways, next question. C. Smith asks... How did Jose... Hey, now, I'm supposed to ask this question. No, you did this one. You did Osrael. No? Yeah. Oh, wait. Dude, that, that was a no, serious you... question. We spent so long, right. I forgot. C. Smith asks, how exactly did Jose get into playing Dungaree in the first place, and what are his plans for the deck in the future? This is interesting, because I think, like, I can... I, 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 I like, Jose I answer this question. it. Okay. Wait, wait, before he answers it, is is it C. Smith, like the letter C and then Smith, or like, I see Smith, yes. he's over there. No, no, like, C- why is this relevant? I don't know, I'm curious. All right, whatever. Okay, Jose, like, just play. Okay, so I got into playing Dungaree because, uh, like, a while ago I was collecting a playset of all Narutami cards, and I was like, oh, okay, this shit card's like 15 cents. Might as well get a playset of this and its break ride. And then I remembered that our friend JJ was like during um, limit break, not yeah, limit break era. He was like, "Oh, Dungaree is so much better than Vermilion," and like uh, he kept fighting Miles. And from what Miles told me, and he never beat Miles with Dungaree. Yeah, I, I, I would not allow Dung- I would not allow myself to lose to Dungaree. I would get grade locked and I would still win because I just would not let Dungaree win. Okay, but then I challenged Miles to a game, and this was when, like, he was using Revengers, and they were, like, at full power. This is G-Format, yeah. Yeah, like, they were full power, stupid broken. So I was like, I bet I could beat you with Dungaree right now. So we fought. He got grade locked, I think. And I double critted him and beat him, and I was just like, oh, Dungaree is fucking meta now, boys. And then, like... Afterwards, I was I challenged. Uh, I think uh, this is out of order of what happened. I challenged Gabe when he was playing uh, Angel Feathers when they were like full power refros, and I beat him with a double crit again. And then I beat Miles again in his Revengers. And then uh, yeah, that just kept happening because double crits are fun. 
Yeah, he did so, that to me with my uh, my Gurgit Ezel deck too. Yeah. That was oh, I loved it. Then one day we were just at uh, Santa Monica Place and we recorded. And I'm like, you know what? I want to use Dungaree on the on the channel. Yeah, and I was like, oh, do we have a whip your ass? Yeah, and then what happened? There you go. Uh, that was me fight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it has almost been a year since uh, the inception of me fight. That's and, fucking uh, art. Like that story is art. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And like, what are the plans for the deck in the future? I'm gonna update it as Narukami gets more support. Like, it's just the there. Uh, Can, like, I updated you? it. Already? Oh, sorry, sorry. Like, I updated it already, but like, we haven't done the deck profile. We'll do that eventually, I guess. See, now you just need to SP out the deck. No. <laughs> okay. Next question. Why are you guys so hot? No homo. All of the homo. Okay. <laughs> I mean, All right. So, um, my reason is uh, I've got that like curly hair, cute boy aesthetic, and like I was an athlete, so I've got like that healthy build look, you know. I'm um, gagging as I'm listening to this. <laughs> I, I'm gagging and vomiting. I'm go vomiting. <laughs> Uh, no, but all I do is, like, I use, like, um, this, like, hair revitalizer oil after every shower. You just kind of, like, lather yourself up with it and run your hands through your hair. And then, um, I don't brush or comb my hair. Can you not answer this one seriously, please? It's just, it's like, natural. Next question. It's a very natural. Miles, shut the fuck up and answer the next question. Wait, don't don't worry, worry. I I have a good, like... Uh, anti-answer to Miles, which is I'm not hot with my shirt off and look like ice cream and nipples. Okay, we're done. Moving on. Well, great. What's well, hot or beautiful? Okay, don't sexualize us. Queens. Miles, just fucking next question. God. All right. Joseph Baldor asks a uh, question for everyone. What is all of your favorite cards? We answer, we, did, we did answer that. Yeah. Um, and it's for everyone. Uh. What is the best you guys did at regionals slash worlds? Um, I, my record has like relatively been the same every year. It's like I, I and and my my reasons for losing are always the same. It's not like getting outplayed or anything. It's just that like I get like my deck bricks or I get great luck. And that's no, all, that's always it. No Johnny. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, no, it's like every year. Um, it's always the same reason. It's it's a game. I get grade locked first, and then I get outplayed the next game. Okay. Um, or like two games later. For me, it, the best I did, I'm, I'm the same with Miles in that. Um, the best I did, I think, was it was at Grand Fest this past summer or whenever it was. I it was like 700 something people, and I got like 56th place, and then just dropped the tournament to play Buddy Fight. So, and then you did pretty decent in Buddy Fight, too. 16th in that. So I got 56th out of 700 or something, and realistically I could have gone even farther, but I didn't want to. So. And what were you playing? At, at uh, Grand Fest? Yeah. Asha. Just so everyone knows. That tier 1.5 deck. Stop. <laughs> Pop. Okay, Richard, what about you? you Richard. The, the furthest, furthest I've ever gone, gone in the regionals was recently, this like past ones for, uh, was it tw- Anaheim 2017 regionals, like in November? Yeah. I got, what happened was I got to round six and my record was five and oh. Like I just did not lose all my games that day, but it was 6.30 at night and I was so exhausted that I dropped out and I did not come back for day two. I just had, I had, but the reason for that wasn't like, oh, I won all my games, I don't need to come back. The main reason for that was, I wasn't there for the regional event, I was there for clan fight, and people were cheating and getting cards really unfairly, like getting their clan leader cards really unfairly through clan fight, and that kind of just dropped my motivation for the rest of the event. So I was like, I really don't want to come back. So I just dropped, and yeah, so I just, I went five and one, Technically, or no, six and one because I won my six. It was seven rounds and I won six rounds. So I technically I went six and one at regionals. We have but a huge real... issue not completing things here. That's, yeah. true. <laughs> That's true. I have a similar story when we get to me. But... Close about you. All right. 
Okay, the best thing, the best I've ever did at regionals was that I went undefeated because I never gone. So, I mean, you went to team league in 2014. Stop. That doesn't count. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll, hear, we'll hear more from Jose in uh, May at, 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 at Anaheim Team. Okay. Um, oh. Let's see. And then the, the best I did was uh, this, like, not November a couple months ago, but the, uh, November 2016. Uh, or was it spring? Fuck it. I don't know. It was, I, I was using Blade Wings. I went 6 one. I made it to day two, and then I didn't go because I wanted to sleep. So I slept in the next day. Worth nice. it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Love us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next question. Next question. We're, we're like the Professor Calamitous of Vanguard, if anyone remembers Jimmy Neutron. Accurate. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Okay, so Blix asks, if you had to choose one clan for the rest of your Vanguard life, what would it be? I, I don't Shack. need to answer. I don't need to answer this. It's, I, I don't think any of us need to answer this one, honestly. It's pretty obvious. Well, let's, yeah, we can just run through the clans real quick. Just, like, say the clan and move okay. on. Okay, Miles, fine. Shadow Paladin, Gabe, Neo, Nectar, uh, Richard, Gold Paladin, Jose, Narukami, Atlas, Great Nature. Done. Done. All right. All right. I was going to pick Link Joker, but okay. Really? No, you weren't. Yeah. No, you yeah, weren't. Yeah, I was. No, you I weren't. was. No, you weren't. Uh, okay. Okay, Richard. <laughs> okay, so next question. Um, Mask Thing asks, why does Gabe hate Vanguard? We're gonna, I don't know, Gabe, do you hate Vanguard? We're going to do an entire uh, video on this, actually. Uh, uh, so save that for later. Just We're going to save that one for later, but we, we promise that we do have plans to answer that, so just uh, get ready. All right, then. Dark Ritual asks, no, and I know mine. Gabe has been... This, this. is mine. Okay. Fine, fine, go ahead, go ahead. Dark Ritual asks, why are you all so bad at Vanguard except Gabe? He's the only good player on this team. Accurate. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you saw that video of when I played uh, Gabe's Night Rose, but that was, like, probably the most piss-poor Night Rose I've ever played. Just okay. him. Okay, I played one deck poorly one time. I guess I'm bad at this game. Oops. I'm just saying he's not infallible, that's it. Okay. All right, um... Are we even seriously answering this question? I don't think we are. No, no, no. God, no. no. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Milan Vu asks, what subclan is the best in your opinion? I mean... Ooh, that's tough, actually. There were some really good subclans. Could we just uh, answer, is, does Bladewing count as a subclan? Yeah. No, it's not. No, no. Does, does, does Deleters count yes. as a subclan? Then? That, yes, Deleters, so, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. As of now, in... February 2018, Deleters is the best subclan at the moment. Yeah. Agreed, yes. All right, next question. Um, how did you guys feel about Vanguard introducing archetypes back in Season 3, like Ancient Dragons, Liberators, Jewel Knights, etc.? Okay, I loved it. Um, I, in, in, like, what was it? In Season 1 of Vanguard, I loved, like, whatever... I love Ride Chains. Um, and then, like, I remember loving Blau, and then when Kamui went, like, to Beastie, I was like, no, that's wrong! But then, like, I, I just, I hated that, like, it was no longer a ride chain. Now I don't like ride chains at all. Um, it was just, like, it was just, like, thing. So when Archetypes came out, I was like, holy shit, these are awesome! Like, I was so excited for them. Like, that, that was probably, like, when my passion for Vanguard was at its peak, and then, like, Jose told me about Revengers, and then I watched like the new episode of Vanguard, and I was like, "Holy shit, these are awesome!" Because it was like it was like it was like Blast Your Dark, like in this like new form of glory, and they were tier one, and like Raging Form was so fun to me for a while, uh, and like it, and then it still got support in Legion. It was like Revengers were like always with me, but yeah, um, our our types as a whole, it was just it was just really cool, and like it felt like there was this sense of like uniformity to a deck like you had like this like legion of like one specific group i am um, i liked it at first personally but after a little while i kind of got annoyed with it because it felt like all the decks for every archetype was cookie cutter you had four of the archetypical pg four of the 10k attacker um they all had like some double r that counterblasted one for an ability or whatever it just kind of i got 
I liked it at first because I liked the idea of archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh, but then I just kind of got bored of it. And it kind of invalidated everything else because, like, 12 and 10k attackers at the time were so good that you kind of had to play an archetype. Like, you couldn't... If, in BT14, it, you weren't playing Ezel, you were playing Liberators because the power creep was just so, like, insurmountable. But that's just me. Okay. Um, for me, uh, I feel like the answer I'm going to give is something Matt would say. It just feels like with all the archetypes, even today, because I would still consider, like, the Outmile, Asha, like, all the, the things that are, like, Vanguard named specific are an archetype as well, kind of going off what you guys are saying with the subclans during the Limit Break era. But what I what I hate is because kind of like something where the the new cards that always come out that are for an archetype, it's like they're also for a keyword, and the keywords are becoming archetypes too. So we're losing out on generic support that could be really good for just future cards in general. But give it like maybe another three or four years. And all the keywords we have now could just not even be viable. Like, they just don't even, like, work with anything. So we're missing out on, like, some pretty decent opportunities for generic, basic, not keyword, not GB, not subclan, doesn't require Vanguard name in its name for an ability. And I think the closest thing that has that would maybe be, like, uh, the, like, Night of Morning Light Horsa. Like, it doesn't have a Vanguard like, restrict, doesn't have a Vanguard name restriction, doesn't have a subclining restriction. The only restriction is GB1. So we know that that could be splashable in future decks. Yeah, so, I mean, like, it, it has Unite, but Unite is such an easy word to... Oh, yeah, that's... It has wait, Unite. Yeah. Interrupt, I gotta interrupt for a hot second. The question was, how did you feel about archetypes arising at the beginning of Season 3? Oh, yeah. Well... Uh, who cares? It was a good answer. I'm not saying it well, wasn't, but it just wasn't the question. Yeah. Cool. It's just so we don't, like... Derail. That's, uh, I did forget. I mean, two people before me, I already forgot the question was. I could just kind of go off of what we were talking about. So, beginning of season three, I started like getting into Vanguard around season three. So, me starting Vanguard was around. I was surrounded by subclan theme decks. So for me, it was just the game. Like I didn't have ex enough experience with pre subclan stuff. So for me, it was pretty normal. Kind of like people who start G now. Like they're just surrounded by Stride. They don't know what it was like before. Yeah. Yeah. Jose. All right. All right. Look how I felt. I actually uh, really liked it because that's around the time I actually started to take Vanguard seriously. Like before with li uh, Limit Break, I was just playing for fun. Now when season three came out, I was just like playing competitively, actually entering more tournaments and taking it seriously. I still wasn't winning though because I'm bad at this game. But uh, yeah. And the season three, I really liked it because I had already played Yu-Gi-Oh before, and having that, as Miles said, uniformity in the deck was really nice because of six samurais and stuff like that. Yeah, I really liked it. It was amazing. That's it. All right, how about Atlas? Um, I, 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 I'm more a proponent of generic support at the time. Uh. Spoken like a great nature fan that didn't get a subclan. <laughs> exactly. So uh, it, it was just a. Uh, oh it, shit! You're right. <laughs> I, I, uh, pun intended here. I have no horse in this race, so just skip me. Nice. Um, yeah. Moving on. Okay. So. All right. This is. This is. Yeah. You. This is you, Miles. Okay. Uh, by the way, that question was asked by Bacon Bit Six. Gabe, start using their names. Um, <laughs> okay. I don't deserve that honor. <laughs> Alwyn's successor asks, um, can we see Miles eat more cards, preferably higher rarity cards like Alexandra's? That way the Patreon donor's money would go to good use. Okay, so for that one, um, yes. We, we, I, I fully agree, and I'm willing to sacrifice my health to eat more shiny cardboard. Um, Y'all need to start donating more then, okay? Uh, and okay. I have a job now, so buying cards for $20 isn't much of an issue. Okay, uh, I just want to say that I'm guessing most of our audience are also broke teenagers slash early 20-somethings. So... They can sell their cards. Shit! Just can they get their mom's credit card? Mail us cards you want us to eat. Mail, mail me cards you want me to eat, and I will eat them for you. Okay, cool. the, the next part. All right. 
So, but, real question, at what point as a beginner did you feel you were ready to enter your first tournament? I got into Vanguard on a Saturday night in December and played in a tournament the very next day after learning all the mechanics. It was just, I've always been like, a com I've always had like a competitive spirit, so when I heard like tournaments, I was immediately in. I was like, take my money, here's my incomplete like Narukami trial deck, I'm ready to play. Um, I... Was it, I never felt unready. It's just like when I first started, I was coincidentally busy for tournaments, so I just couldn't go for a little bit. But I, like Miles, I wanted to go and just play and just meet people and have fun. And then I wound up winning five tournaments in a row because Vanguard takes skill. Am I right, boys? Yeah. Yeah. When you've been, when you've been playing the game for a, two months and you spend five of those eight weeks winning tournaments, it doesn't really mean a lot, does it? That's my answer. Cool. Duke is the, Duke is life. Uh, my answer is that I started playing in tournaments because I was really depressed and I needed to find something else to do. Mood. Um, right. Uh, but the the main reason is because uh, I lived in a very oppressive household during the time that I started playing Vanguard, and I didn't. I was not allowed to have a phone. I was not allowed to have like gaming systems. Like it just got to the point where I was just living like under like prison. And then there was just one day where, like, my dad was like, you're going to go out today. And I'm like, where? And he's like, I don't know. And he just kind of, like, sent me outside, locked the door, and was like, come back at 8 p.m. This was 10 o'clock in the morning, just so everyone knows, gets an idea of what was going on. So I just I just went over. I walked all the way. It was probably like an hour, two, hour and a half walk to uh, what I was already familiar with was, like, a local Vanguard tournament. Long story short, I knew of this place. I just never went. And um, I knew about Vanguard. I just never played or had a deck. And I went to go check it out. And then I saw, uh, uh, I think I saw Jose and Ben. Ben's another topic. Um, and I heard, <laughs> same. And then um, I saw them and I was like, oh, I know those people, but they're not like my friends. They're just acquaintances. And then I kind of just walked in the shop, and the people were just kind of very friendly to me and just started talking to me. And uh, and then I met Miles that same day, and then Miles Throw back asked, to 7-Eleven. Right, and then Miles just kind of asked me, he's like, do you want to play Vanguard? And I was like, I don't have a deck. And he was just like, you can use one of mine. And I was like, wow. This, so this <laughs> It was like Glory Maelstrom. It was Glory Maelstrom versus, like, Blaster Dark Ride Chain. <laughs> yeah, it was. And uh, I was just like, wow, this is what love feels like. And then... Uh, I kind of, and then after that, I did not have a deck, and I would just go and make friends, and I just leech off of people's extra extra decks. I did that to Miles, and I did that to Gabe. I borrowed Miles's Phantom Blaster Overlord deck, and I borrowed Gabe's uh, Vowing Saber Reverse deck. Got you, baby. And I I just kept doing that until I had Gansalot Zenith, and that was when I actually had like my first own personal competitive ready deck. And then after that, I just started dropping hardcore money on the game. So I, I started entering tournaments without my own personal deck. That's the answer to that question. That was a cute story. Yeah, I did not care for winning. I just wanted to play. And now I'm the opposite. Can host have the cuteness? Let's find out. Yeah. Go ahead, Isaiah. Okay. So like, I, uh, when I started, when I entered my first tournament, like it was like a few days after, maybe a week after I actually got my first trial deck, and yeah. I was just, just like, fuck it, enter. I never won, but still, I always entered. You know, you won that one time at uh, our old locals. We don't speak started. of that time. <laughs> we don't speak about Jose beating up a second grader. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, we don't speak about, about the most topping with a technically illegal deck. <laughs> the right. second most viewed video on Power Anime's channel. <laughs> fuck you, Oh, right. I know that. Okay. Uh, all right. Atlas. Atlas. Um, let's see. So I I learned uh, Vanguard around like BTO six, and I think I entered the tournament pretty quickly after that. I don't really remember. Um, I I had had enough confidence from like learning Yu Gi Oh that it, or from having played Yu Gi Oh that it was just like all right, I can figure this out. Um, I don't I don't really remember much of my track record or anything like that. So sorry guys, my memory sucks. Because I'm old, apparently. Okay, next question. <laughs> this is from Axel, our boy. Yeah, our boy. Hi, boy. Hi, Axel. At Miles, yeah. marry me. 
Not a question. Just just do it. Oh man, his girlfriend's gonna be pissed. Oh, they they broke up. I did not know this. Okay. Well, so uh, I say yes, particularly because Valentine's Day is coming up, and my schedule manager at work said that she's going to before by Valentine's Day she is going to put all of her efforts into getting me and my coworker girlfriends for Valentine's Day. That's so, sure. so wholesome. <laughs> yeah, she looked at me the other day and she's like, Miles, do you have a girlfriend? And I was like, God, I hope so. And she starts cracking up and she's like, all right, I'm going to get you one before Valentine's Day now. And I was like, oh, thank you. All right, next question, meals. Uh, Aaron Garvin asks, um, cutest white food unit among all Vanguard clans, Cheer Girl Adelaide, next question. Cheer Girl Adelaide. Cheer Girl Adelaide. Cheer, Cheer Girl Adelaide. I'm, okay, I'm not cool. we're all accounted for. Um, I'm not, I'm not bad. Like ask the next question. Matthew Chung asks, where does everyone get the funding for Dex, and do you watch... We'll just answer this part first. Um, Miles, you can start. Okay, um, I... Have a right job. now, I have a job, yeah. I applied for a job that pays, like, above minimum wage, so <laughs> Gabe, Gabe, Gabe has, um, like expressed this before uh i've just been going ham on buying decks like i still am um i'm i'm, I'm gonna i'm going to like pull back for a little bit because i'm trying to save it for a laptop uh but um you answer the question fine honey you don't need to go on yeah, long yeah. tangents for me um it's called not yeah. being poor it's called being a Jew. <laughs> yeah it's called it's called being jewish and not being poor this is how stereotypes happen. You Just should all try it sometime. <laughs> all right. Uh, my answer is I only own I owned one deck for like three years, and then I just recently picked up Blasters. This is the first time I've ever owned more than one Vanguard deck, and that and then that I'm literally right now going, all right, cool, I'm good for like another two years. I say for more as well. I just saved my money. It was just really convenient that when Gurgit came out, it was like literally twenty bucks to build. And then the only hardcore money deck I ever dropped was Bluish Flame, but that was because we all hooked each other up with boxes. Jose, what about you? Yeah. I have friends that lend me money. <laughs> and uh, also, I just get really lucky when some cards spike up and I sell them. Because I hoard everything. What about you, Atlas? Uh... Combination of I have a job, uh, I, I try and sell things when they're high, and then also um, I, I have like a, a rule for myself where I try not to have more than uh, four decks at a time. So if I am going to make one, I have to sell one. So that A, prevents me from like impulse making decks, and B, you know, keeps me from being uh, broke. So Next part of the question is, do you guys watch other card fight YouTubers? Um, I sure. sort of do. Once in a while, I'll watch, like, a uh, different fight, or, um, or I'll, I'll want to, like, research a deck, so I'll just kind of, like, look up, like, you know, like, um, Gretter, uh, 2018 or whatever, and, like, I'll just click any video. I'll, I'll, I'll usually, like, uh, I'll usually gravitate towards, like, the, the, the more well-known channels, um. Okay. Um, and then occasionally I'll watch, like, Solemn Vanguard, either by Richard sending me links of it, um, or just from, like, me seeing, like, Aquaforce combos. I'm like, okay, I'll look into this. But it's not very frequent. Um, me? I don't even watch our own content, let alone other people's. But that gets us ad revenue if you click on it. That's accurate. I still don't do it, but you're okay. not wrong. What about you, Jose? Same as you, Gabe. No. What about Richard? Um, I don't... I guess the most one I actually look forward to watching is Different Fight, just because I appreciate his personality. And he kind of... He seems like he puts effort into the stuff that he loves and not just shits out stuff, just for the heck of it. Fair. What about you? There was a period where you were, like... You were subscribed to, like, every Vanguard channel, right? Like, a few no. months ago? There was, I think I realized, I think I did that, and then I kind of realized I could just Google their names and not be spammed by Vanguard notifications where I didn't feel yeah. like seeing Vanguard. Guys, no, I yeah, because there was a time where you were ranting. Can burn through this, please? Yeah, yes. Right. All, right. All right, so uh, my answer, different fight, 
Living Proof, Yellow Card Vanguard, and I watched Solemn for a while, but his titles and thumbnails are so goddamn clickbaity, I don't do it anymore. So real, yeah. yeah. Fuck Solemn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a bad person. It's just like the, it, it's just annoyingly clickbaity. So like, you know, I'm not clicking that. I know it's a joke. No. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Moving on. All right. How about you, Jose? Oh, are you. I mean, that's right. I don't know why I thought that was last. All right. Um, the positive sage asks. How old are you guys, and what was your first clan in Vanguard? I right, already um, answered that kind of by grades, but not really. Um, uh, I'm 18, and my first clan was an Arakami. I picked up a trial deck. Uh, Gabe, I'm, I just turned 20 a month ago, and first clan was Gold Paladin. Uh, I'm Richard. Uh, my first trial deck I ever bought was a Kagura trial deck, and but it was Limit Break era, and so I bought a Gold Paladin trial deck and stuck with that ever since. How old are you, uh, How old are you Richard? What? I can hear you. What you How said? old are you? How old? Oh, okay. I'm 20. All right, I'm 20, going on 21 next month. Uh, and my first clan was Kagura, but first. That, that was a trial that I bought. First real plan was Narukami, and I've been with it ever since. Uh, let's see. Atlas, I turn 24 next week. Uh, I'm uh, First plan was Grand Blue. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's it. First plan was Grand Blue. Okay. Done. Alpha Haunter asks, question for all of you, what's your favorite clan? We all did that, but why yeah. is it that clan? And also, will you do more fights with the new mechanic after G era? The answer is yes. We're gonna keep making content. But... Of course. Yeah, uh, and then for why Shadow Palms my favorite clan? Um, I like the concept of it, the artwork. It's beautiful. It got me into the game. Uh, like just seeing like the poster of BTO4, I was like, whoa! Uh, I want to play this game now. And that's that's basically it. Like it, it's and it's the deck that I've almost always had the most fun with out of every deck that I've played. Um. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, for me, still Neo Nectar. Uh, favorite clan because both aesthetic and play style. Like, um, that's it. Yeah, I love flowers. Cool. Flower boy, flower child. That's me. Um, that's the name of a good restaurant in uh, Santa Monica. We should go sometime. Sure thing, man. What about uh, favorite? favorite? Yeah, I'll go. Um, favorite clan, Gold Paladin. Reason it's favorite clan. Um, Going back to the whole oppressive household thing, it was just convenient that, like, I was just Googling trial decks because I was like, I need to get a better deck for, like, when I know for sure I can have a deck. And Liberator trial deck was already out in Japan, so I kind of looked into it. And then just the whole, like, oh, Liberation. I want to get out of this shit household, which I did eventually. So, and then I was like, okay, cool, Liberators. Oh, Blaster Blade. So, like, that must mean it's the main character's deck or something. And I just kind of did that. And then Liberator, Bush Road was just kind of, like, rolling the Liberator train for, like, two years, so I didn't really have to get a new deck. That's the answer to my question. And I just kind of stuck with Gold Paladin because I was just so used to it already. And Knights. Knight Aesthetic. High Key. That's, like, one of the main things. If it has Knights, I'm down. What about you, right. Uh Favorite clan, Narukami. Uh, why is it that clan? Because I've been with it, like, since I started. We've had our ups and downs. But I'm still using it. Mostly downs. Fuck you, OG Vanquisher. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, never tell me. Um, let's see. Great Nature. Uh, why is it my favorite? Well, uh, I, around BTO7... Atlas is a furry. What? Atlas is a furry, that's why. No, actually, yeah. the, the reason I got into it was uh, B, uh, when BTO7 was coming out, I was looking for Pale Moon stuff, so I bought a bunch of it, and like pulled a bunch of great nature stuff and i realized no one really plays this so i decided to just make something so i did and then i realized that i like uh gaining a bunch of power and drawing a bunch of cards honestly it could be any aesthetic at all and i would still play it it could literally just be like everyone is pieces of shit i would still play it so, everyone is your girl Adelaide. i would still play it unfortunately all right <laughs> yeah Miles, you got the next one that's quick all right. Um, Thunder asks, "How did you guys meet each other?" I vote we. Okay. Just, I vote we save like the Nexus formulation story just for the end. Or, or for a separate video. That's what I was thinking. Separate, separate video sounds video. better. Let's yeah. Let, yeah. We'll do how we because we're we're already kind of been recording for we're a while. We're already pretty far. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, okay. we'll we'll do that video later. So you, Miles, you can just right, take cool. this next question then. 
Yeah, um, S.P. Rice asks, what sort of music do you guys listen to? Favorite artists, album, and such? Not Vanguard um, related, I appreciate this. Yeah, well, no, props to you, Rice. You're, you're the real MVP. Uh, so, I primarily listen to jazz. Um, you like jazz? Shut up. <laughs> no, oh, <laughs> Get out of here, Richard. Uh, in high school, um... I, I was like a, I was like an uber weave, so it was all about like you know like J Rock. Uh, I listened to a lot of like rookies as punked, um, but now it's primarily just jazz. It's like really relaxing to me, uh, or like just video game OSTs, like nothing with like lyrics or anything, uh, just kind of like chill out with. Uh, my favorite artist, though, I don't know if really have, like I guess Miles Davis would be my favorite jazz artist, but um, my favorite band is definitely Queen. Um, like I don't listen to too much rock, but like Queen is just number one in my world like i i i, I love every single one of their songs i've listened to for me, um, and jojo references galore so yeah for me um angsty emo shit fallout boy panic at the disco uh front bottoms modern baseball mom jeans queen is a classic though but i'll listen to anything um similar i'll listen to basically anything um, kind of iffy with country though, but I'm open to stuff. I like to listen to artists such as like Childish Gambino. I like Kanye's stuff. I like Rune Five. I like Coldplay. I like Queen. I just have different things that I like in general. I just recently kind of like Miles have been finding myself on the Queen train a lot, like listening to songs as I'm walking to class. So uh, I like alternative rock and rock and some rap. So that's the answer to my question. Alright. I'm the I'm the same as all of you. I like everything except country. Country is a sin on this earth. Uh, but yeah, like my favorite artists, uh, Panic at the Disco, Fallout Boy, Lincoln Park. Um I can't think of any more. My mind is blanking, so let's leave it at that. Atlas. Uh let's see. I I, I like a lot of classic rock and things like that. My favorite band is Rush. Um, I, I used to be in a band in high school called Obvious Plagiarism because all we did were covers, so that's how a lot of my music taste kind of came to be. Um, I'm I'm trying to like kind of expand though and looking at like you know rap and pop and stuff. It, it it's it's a slow expansion, but I'm doing it. All right, done. Cool. Next question. Uh, I got this one. It is from Yu-Gi-Oh! Real, Real Life Guy asks thoughts on disease buddy fight stuff. Um, what? It's a, it's a new. It's a new attribute. You can say it's pretty sick. Same. Um, Get the fuck out. It's you fucking like hilarious. Your wife left you. Lo- locking your locking your opponent's flag is great. It's hilarious, but it's not going to be tier one. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Um. All right. The awesome card guy one asks. What is all your members' favorite deck for Vanguard and Buddy Fight? Uh, my favorite deck right now is um. Thabas, in a very, we, we, you know, we are in a very oppressive meta, and uh, having one of my favorite clans get support, like, it, it, and it's everything Aqua Force, like, really needed, it's, like, it's, it's heavy draw power, um, and resist, and, like, and Alexandros is the easiest card, it, it is the easiest to use in, um, what do you call it, in, uh, Vanguard, like, in Aqua Force, like, you literally need one unit, and you can use Alexandros. That's literally it. It's the easiest card to use. It pulls off so many good combos. It's just a really fun deck. And again, like it, it is everything off of course needed. Uh, for Buddy Fight, um, Prism Dragons. I actually haven't played much Buddy Fight. I had like this like I started when it, I, I played Buddy Fight when it first started. I used Danger World a lot and Dungeon World, and then I quit for like two years, and I got back into it about a year ago. With Prism Dragon, and I love Prism Dragon. I, I'm not typically someone who plays like wall decks, but it is so fun to have like most decks just try and like hit you, and you're just like, no, it doesn't work. Um, like just stop. You're not allowed to hit me. Uh, you have been stopped. Yeah, exactly. Dio, stop. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Um, Thabas and Prism Dragons. Um. I don't have a favorite for either. Like, I play a lot of different shit from time to time. I'm like Atlas, where I just kind of cycle through decks. Um, I play Neonectar the most, 
but like since I've been playing it for so long, I kind of get tired of it a lot, so I, I wouldn't even consider it a favorite in that regard. Buddy Fight, I don't have one either. I'm boring. Richard. Cool. Uh, my favorite deck is just Bury It right now, just because uh, we just got support, and it's a night-themed deck. Uh, for Buddy Fight, my favorite deck would have been uh legend heroes but i'm not really down for just the sword thing i don't know but uh i do like like sword and knight aesthetic decks in general so if legend heroes get more like monster support in the future or if there's or like i know there's dungeon knights so i guess that kind of works too but uh i don't really have a favorite buddy fight deck right now jose all right, my favorite Vanguard deck right now is uh, Vanquisher. I know, like, it's not really meta and it gets it's not good right now, but I like it because after all the shit that went from GBT02 to GBT09, eleven, no, the, from the shit deck. Oh yeah, yeah. From that shit period, and then when we got the good support in eleven, it, it all of a sudden got like a hundred times better. So. As Miles said before, it was like character development for me because around the time it came out, I went back to school and started getting better, started taking my medication for depression and shit. So, yeah. And then for Buddy Fight, uh, Dual Jaeger because it's a JoJo reference. Of course. Um, Favorite uh, deck is Big Belly because now we have a searchable win condition. That's like really, really hard to beat, and I can give it resist to fuck over Kagura. Yay. Uh, favorite buddy fight deck? I never played buddy fight, so not a question for me. Uh, Carlos Flores asks, how do you guys. Hey, he's a Patreon uh, donor. Good. Oh, shit, you're right. Oh, wait, Thanks, no, wait, wait, I Thanks, missed Carlos. Sorry. What is um, each member's favorite aspect of the game, and why do you keep coming back to it? Miles, please don't do another goddamn five-minute-long answer. I have shit to do. Okay. <laughs> favorite aspect of Vanguard? Um, I think my favorite has always been, like, riding, actually. Or either riding or restanding. I think riding is cool because it's, like, you know, the constant upgrade. And it's like a build-up. Um, and then uh, for restanding, it's, like, I don't know. I, I just, restanding has always been, like, my favorite skill that, like, is granted to cards. It's just Damn, really you, beat, cool. you beat me to it. Ha! Suck it. Alright. And why do you keep coming back to Vanguard? Oh! Why do I keep coming back to Vanguard? I have my, my closest friend, the, the closest friends I've ever had play the game, and I love all of them, you guys in this group chat. Um, I love you too, buddy. So it's it's <laughs> it's more okay. It's more about the community that I'm a part of, and not the game that I play. Uh, for me, a favorite aspect is it's so fucking simple. I don't need to think while I'm playing it, and it's fine. I could just like pick some shit up, casually talk to people, listen to music while I'm playing. I don't need to pay attention, and I won't get fucked over. I don't need to have an attention span to play it. Um, why do I keep coming back to it? Friends. That's it. Um, my favorite aspect of Vanguard is the night-themed decks. I think if Vanguard didn't have a night-themed deck, I wouldn't play it. I'm going to be 100% honest. And if you compare it to, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and, like, Magic the Gathering, who don't clearly have one theme of deck. I guess that's what, I, that's what it is about Vanguard. I like the clan themes. Like, the like fact the, that each deck is a theme, and it's not really kind of, like, mixing stuff to make a theme. It's, like, the, it's a prepackaged theme. Um, and why do I keep coming back to it? I think I keep coming back to it because it's just a solid reminder of when my shit got together and my life was kind of changed around. So it just makes me feel better. So coping mechanisms. Yay, Jose. Yay. Uh, my favorite aspect, uh, I know it's going to be kind of uh, controversial, but I like the luck aspect of it. As much as I hit, say that I have shit luck with my drive checks and shit like that, I really like the luck aspect because any deck can win if uh, you crit hard enough. Shout out to Dungaree. Um, what, keeps, what keeps me coming back, friends? Atlas. Okay. All right, Atlas. 
Um, so uh, aside from Miles uh, beating me to it on restanding, uh, my favorite thing or mechanic is uh, just early game and also bullying rear guards because that's like my thing now apparently. And uh, why do I keep coming back? A because of the friends. B I like uh, making videos here and uh, yeah, done. Okay. Next nice. question. All right, Carlos Flores asks, how do you guys prepare for a Vanguard region like Springfest, plus is next Discord going to be at Team League this year? I just make sure that I have my best deck ready. I, there's not much preparation I put into it. I mean, I guess plan out your car schedule with friends. Remember, like, Miles, you have to eat a balanced <laughs> breakfast to win. This is a I don't eat it. I don't eat when I go to a tournament, and then I regret it completely. This is a pretty um, easy one. We just, like, play a bunch of games, and the answer is yes, we're going to be at Team League. Yeah, yeah. Change your sleeves. Change your sleeves. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get, get new fresh sleeves. Okay. I, I usually, like, pimp out my, like, accessories. Um, I'm going to skip I'm the next... I'm prepared by not going. <laughs> Same. I'm going to skip the next two, just because they're about how we form Nexus. We're going to make videos of those, yeah. Yeah. Um, Start other up uh, other videos. Animated uh, aspiration asks. I'm actually curious why Gabe's voice makes me feel gay and him gay. It's really weird. Um, hang on, I, ne I never got to answer the question. What do you do that's special? Do you not like fucking just I play test? I I, I I pack a lunch for myself and get lots of sleep. Okay, I'm done. Continue. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for uh, wasting the time. Cool. All right. Hey, you're the one who wasted the time by stepping over me. All right. You guys are wasting time right now. Let's just get on with it. All right. Gabe, why does your voice make people gay and you gay? Whom's the fuck to know? <laughs> All right. Next is a word. Symphony asks, favorite bad deck? I don't use bad decks. Next question. Burn. Now, uh, favorite, me, favorite bad favorite deck. Favorite bad deck is uh, Asha. <laughs> <laughs> Got four, got four at the Worlds, or in Japan, but... Excellent. Because the judges don't know how to read in Malaysia. Richard, well, yeah. yeah. What happened with that? That's, there was a ruling issue. That doesn't Let's fucking stop. matter right now. I have okay, shit to fine. do. Yeah. Okay, my favorite bad deck is gone. Miles, why do you never win a match? That's not the question yet. But, okay. Favorite, uh, what's favorite, favorite bad deck bad is honorary deck? professor. Okay, so, um... Gabe, you want to answer this? For the Dylan Papas? Yeah. Miles, why do you never win a match? It seems like every video you just take a massive fucking L. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I've, I've seen you win one weekend. match in like 20 videos. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I, uh, my, my, my win to loss ratio is definitely like very uneven yeah. on the channel. Um, He's not. He's not a bad player. Like he wins outside of the channel. It's no. He's uh, a bad player. <laughs> he's not the worst, but he is bad. Yes. Yes to both. I, I I crack under pressure and okay. I found out something weird. Like it's only against you, Gabe, that I start to like like misplay. I was playing against Atlas the other night. No misplays at all. I was playing with like and when I was like competing at the uh, at my locals last week and every other week I made like. Two missed plays in all the in, in the entire time. Right. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a crack under pressure, or like okay. I don't know, maybe maybe it's something about you, Gabe. Fair. Some something that I just get mesmerized. With beautiful by. eyes and giant uh, nose. Yeah, no. Uh, Next question, Mike. The, the other part of that is that there are some fights where I'll prioritize like showing off my card skills more than I try and like make the right play. Uh, you know, I'll be like, oh yeah, I could like you know, do this, but then I won't show off, like, what this card can do. So I'll, like, I'll prioritize, like, suboptimal plays just for the sake of showing off, like, new support. Uh, because content. And that, that's about it. All right. Uh, also, Vanguard next. is a game of luck, so... Next question! I'm, I have to leave in, like, 15 minutes, and it's also been an hour, so we're not gonna finish all the ones Jose sent. We'll make a part two. Yeah. Okay. Right. What is your favorite food? Um, I love ramen, primarily tonkotsu, and um, sushi, primarily uh, saba. Okay. Good. It's like melting your mouth. It's, it's I delicious. I like brulee. I like ice cream. Uh, I like pizza from Costco specifically. Fair. Costco. 
Uh, battalion food, I think. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. And Atlas. Miles. All Miles, right. So, um, Miles, this next one. Yeah. He asked thirteen different ones. So you just want to take like one at a time each. Or you know what we could do? We can stop here and then make a next another Q and A like a no, month down. No, these are the really road. good. Like I want to answer uh, okay. these. These are actually really good. Uh, all right. Okay. Um, let me so I'll them. go first. Uh, so, Liberator of Nightly asks one: What's everyone's favorite waifu and husbando? Yeah, I'm not answering that. My favorite waifu is I guess from Persona Three. Uh, because of robots, and my favorite husbando is Gabe. Aw, thanks. My favorite Despite waifu. Despite our differences, I still care about you. Thanks. My favorite waifu and husbando is myself to both because I transcend gender. <laughs> Richard, I'm <laughs> not a fucking weebu or a fucking furry. So get your shit together. Okay. Uh, here, I, 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 I have a dumb answer right. to it. My favorite waifu, uh, Mitsuru from Persona 3, and favorite husband, uh, Kanji from Persona 4. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. F- favorite, favorite waifu, uh, whoever I end up marrying, favorite husband, uh, me specifically, my own butt. All right, we're done. Me too. <laughs> uh, look, Miles, go. Um, oh. Five is one of you gay or no, not straight? No, it's next. It's 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 all one thing. You go to the next picture. What? S- scroll to the next picture. Oh god, you made like a BuzzFeed list out of it. Or... Yes. Great. Well, why are we going to answer seven more? Shut you. Just answer the question. What is the favorite episode and season of the Vanguard anime? My favorite episode is um. The one uh, in season three where they go on the camping trip, particularly the dub version, because you hear Aichi in English say, I don't know English. No, and then Naoki. there is. Oh, Naoki, yeah, sorry, sorry. It's Naoki who says, I don't know how to read English. And then the, uh, just, just the iconic, for the glory of Sweden. Alright, for me, favorite season is the first season of G episode it's a tie between episode eight because it had Kamui and Chrono punching each other in the face for no reason and it was really fucking funny and ev- my favorite episode is every single episode that has Kanzaki screaming <laughs> <laughs> that's it particularly the one at, particularly the one in, particularly the one in uh, next where he screamed so loud he fucking cracked a hole in the rock wall. That was a great one. Is that a Yes. Richard. Uh, Richard. Favorite episode was episode 192. This is like Legion era. Just because just because of like the amount of trigger sacking that happened in that episode, I always reference it back to whenever I see a shit ton of triggers in a game, I'll just be like, is this episode 192? Good time. Mm-hmm. I remember those days. That, that's the only episode I'll actually ever remember its number and what actually happened in the significance. Fair. So, yeah. Jose, what about you? Uh, my favorite episode is, uh, I think it was one of the last ones of season three, where Kai trigger checked the same trigger four times in a row. Oh, that was four. That was four. That was season four. Yeah. That was season four? Yeah, that was, that was season four. Uh, he used yeah. the great to get four TARS. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one. And uh, favorite season? Season three. Um, let's see. F- favorite episode is uh, probably the uh, Shion against uh, Shoma, the Genesis guy, the second time, where uh, they're they're in that like weird room with all the torches, and then all the all the light all the uh, lights go out, and they come on, and they're red. So it's like, all right, he's making a comeback. I don't know. I like Shion as a character, and then season. Um, I don't, I don't think I really have a favorite season. Maybe three. Three was a good one. All right. Actually, on the note of Shion versus Shoma, I really like the, <laughs> the the fight at the end of season three of G when they both died, but then they didn't. Yeah. Like, oh, Shion was crushed uh, by a giant rock. Like, okay. Yeah, was I was going to say again, on the on the topic of Shion versus Shion, Shionome, um, was when Shion just viciously runs up and punches Shionome in the face. That. that was such a good moment! <laughs> okay, next one. What did you guys play before Vanguard? Yu-Gi-Oh. 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 I did not play a card game. Okay. So it's all Yu-Gi-Oh for all, right. all of us. All right. uh, Miles, you're up for five. Okay. Um, is one of you gay or not straight? All, all of us are a little question. gay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, exclusively gay for game. Fair. What is okay. the Nexus Core hierarchy? Um, I feel like I'm gonna answer this. In Why terms, is that a question? I don't yeah, know. That, I'm gonna answer it in terms of how good we are at this game. Me, Richard, Miles, Atlas, Jose. Oh fuck you, Miles. Um, You're yeah, really no, nice. it's a very, it's a very I'm like, like it's younger, a very, so that means I'm good. Jose, you transcend. Um, it's a very. I'd like to just say that we take Nexus Core as if it were a communist society. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. For the glory of question. communism. Okay. Um. Did Do you enjoy a control meta? No. 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 Yes. Go <laughs> <laughs> away. You play Link Joker. Everyone's least favorite clan. Link Joker. Uh. Oracle Think Tank. Mega Colony. Oh, interesting. The token Rombo. Machinings are scar. Token Rombo is not a clan. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Least favorite clan. Um, this is t probably probably OTT because I used to make fun of it and now I can't, and that makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> Miles. Okay. Um, is anyone a part of a fandom? No. Uh, I'm part of like my college's no, FG. Yeah. If that counts. This is weeb shit. Okay. Um. Who would you all sh um? Who would you all ship two of you together? Who would be put together, and what would the ship name be? It's me uh, and Ma Miles. Easy. Ma Miles and Gabe. What do you call it? Guiles. Gu Giles. Maybe. 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 Pretty good. Maybe. Right. Maybe. So uh, my friend Kate uh, said that it should be me and Miles, and it should be called Giles. <laughs> That's not too bad, actually. That's pretty good. That really, yeah. that really <laughs> ruffles my jowls. Stop. My, n n next. Your jowls uh, like, you know? Yeah. Richard Nixon. Uh, will Hamskays ever get supported again, and could it be meta? No, I don't think they support, though. Um, they're really cute. The answer, okay, what, well, no, the answer is yes. They're going to get support, and they can be meta. They probably won't be, but they can. <laughs> Everything can get meta with the right support. Shut up. You're, um, uh, this is a dumb question. Uh, what is one regret from high school you each have? All of it. <laughs> For me, it's just, like, not... It's me, like, kind of just holding back on, like, doing things. You know, like, like uh, primarily just, like, being honest with my feelings or, like, telling people, like, how I feel or what I think about an issue. Um, but that's about it. It's kind of, like, not, like, you know... Just really not, like, putting myself out there. Not like, having really, emotions like... was pretty bad, not gonna lie. Just swallowing my... all of my emotions deep down, that wasn't fun for me or anybody around me. My favorite, my biggest regret was being a whore. That's, that, that's my regret. Oh, hi, you were the main character of a horror anime for all of high school. Me too, yeah. but I, I was there too, but I didn't regret that, so I guess that's where we differ. I, I do regret it, just because I got no benefit out of it later. My regret is not breaking up with my borderline abusive uh, girlfriend sooner. Oh, Cindy. Yep. Oh, throwback. Uh, yeah, exactly. Miles, last right. one from this guy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love this one. Uh, you've heard of the Yeet ye Night Rose fleet, but have you heard of the Yoke yo Ghosty Boat? <laughs> and my response is... No, but now that I have heard of it, I feel like there's a piece of my life that was missing that has finally come back to me. My Thank answer you. is, why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? <laughs> uh, uh, Teaser, speaking of the word brave, there, there's a video coming up related to that on the channel. So that stay tuned. That's, not a, that's not remotely relevant. Kind of. No. Um, uh, okay. Jose. Well, yeah. Richard, have you oh. heard of the Yo Yo Ghosty Boat? It's either yes or no, goddammit. I'm waiting on Jose. You asked him first. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> okay, next question. Right. Um, okay, this one's important. Uh, I think it's important that I answer. I ask this one. Or no, Gabe, you ask it. The Miles, did you ever shove Megido up your ass? Oh yeah, I forgot he was gonna do that. 
Uh, yes, it is still up there. Uh, it's very warm and cozy inside of my asshole. Uh, let's let's make the next one on the next page the last one because it's about like all of us yeah. specifically. So okay. it's right. a good one. So yeah, this is a good ending. Okay. Project uh, Egax asks. Hopefully this isn't obnoxious, but I'm going to leave this question for each member in no particular order. So for Richard, They're all obnoxious. No. For Richard, how did you learn video editing, as and is it something you enjoyed doing? I learned video editing from my best friend in high school, Davon, who is still a member of Nexus Core. He is just not around. We miss you, Davon. I miss you so much. I miss much. you, Dad. We miss um, you. Come back, Davon. Davon ran... Uh, a very small you run still runs a very small YouTube gaming channel. Subscribe to D Master Gaming. Um, Link will be he, in the description. He uh, he did Adobe Premiere editing, and then he so we started off with uh, Devon was going to do the editing. Uh, I already had like seven years of experience with Photoshop. I just never used Premiere in my life, and Devon was like, "I'm kind of lazy, so do you want to just do this shit?" And I was like, "Sure." And so I learned, and I started doing YouTube tutorials, and I just kind of taught myself how to use the program. Do I enjoy editing? I think I do at this point. It's I want to do computer animation in the future, and video editing is kind of like a small step towards that direction. So it is something that is similar to the career I want to invest in. All right, so okay. now you can go Gabe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gabe, if you could make one card for either Buddy Fight or Vanguard, what deck would it be for, and what would it do? For Buddy Fight, I have no fucking clue, but it would be a dragon and be broken so I could use it in Dragon Ainan's Vi. <laughs> that's, that's all I know. That's all I know. Would it be a buff scaly dragon? It would be a buff scaly black dragon, so I could also use it in Darkest Dragon World. Easy. Awesome. For Vanguard, this is uh, another okay. really easy one. So... You know Renunculus of Phantasmic Blue Asha? Yeah. It would be that that card, the exact same name, the exact same skill, but it would have it another ability that's a uh, once per turn bloom 5k and a crit. Because the fact and that... the you, artwork... What? The artwork, artwork would be Gezelaz. Yes. But the fact that Asha doesn't have... Blue Asha doesn't have bloom is fucking stupid, and I hate it so fucking much. But it would just be Blue Asha with the Bloom ability, so she can search herself. So yeah, my favorite right, card uh, I would make for Vanguard is just an errata. Yeah. Uh, Hose, do you hate the Dungaree meme at this point, or have you grown to accept it'll forever be a part of the channel? I don't hate the Dungaree meme, I just, uh, I'm kind of disappointed that our little inside joke just ended up blowing up. But, uh, I've accepted it, and I'll... Whatever, it's fine. All right, so the last one, which is for Atlas. Since you guys seem to want to do more content with the channel, Atlas, do you think you'd actually be able to do the skits you've wanted to do now, provided you actually write a script? <laughs> Did you write that? No, this guy that. actually included that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I, I, I think we can, yeah. It's just uh, I, I, was, I was sick for about a month, um... And so, like, any time I'd try to record, I, I would start coughing. And now that, you know, as of, like, this last week, it's finally done. So, you got to face boost those coughs, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, yeah, what's it called? Uh, I I have some uh, a few things in the works. I want to do more of those uh, Which is Better, like uh, I did with uh, Strange Dragon and Photon. That seems like something fairly easy to put together. I just have to get Premiere because uh, iMovie sucks ass and it takes forever. So... Um, uh, 60 bucks at Best Buy if you can get Photoshop too I, I have Photoshop already um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, there are a few more that we got asked there's actually quite a bit more and they're all pretty good so yeah. I do want to answer those at some point but this has been going on for fucking ever so I vote we just make a part 2 yeah, yeah so fine. there will be a part 2 electric boogaloo coming soon if you did, so if you asked a question and it didn't get answered it'll probably be answered there uh, we hope you enjoyed listening to us yell at each other for an hour. And a Hooray! Half. Yeah. Um, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy happy Valentine's, love you guys. Valentine's Day, all you single folks out there, because I know we're all single. Um, if you also have oh, new... Richard? Wait, if you also have Richard. new questions, um, you can go ahead and leave them in this video for later, eventually. Maybe we'll get to it, but I also, like, you don't have to go back to the first Q&A if you want to ask more questions again. 
Just like yeah, leave it in this video, please, so it doesn't get so the, the questions are all over the place. In the description, there's going to be an address so you can send cards to Miles so he can eat. And so, <laughs> there's going to be a link to yeah. D Master Gaming. Star. Yeah, and there's going to be a link to D Master Gaming as well. All right, um, so. Oh, yeah. So, that's about it. All right. Rate, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time, right? Hit that little bell button so you know that we post the video. This oh, was no, Nexus at Day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what's even worse is like all, all these uh, all these like channels that are like hit the bell so you can be part of our notification squad. Like fuck you, I don't want to be part of the notification squad. <laughs>